What's cracking? Amy Crichton here, and in this video, we take a look at these two units. Which one is better? So when you're looking for a new wireless microphone, there are a bucket load of options. There's cheap options, expensive options, names you've heard of before and some you haven't. That's where this guy steps in. Now this is either pronounced seven rhymes or seven R-Y-M-S, not too sure. But this is the unit and this is pretty cool. I mean, it stands pretty solid against the road. They do look pretty identical, um, but I'm using it right now. So it comes in the same type of kit you would get with the Rode. So you get two transmitters and one receiver. Uh, you get lapel microphones in that kit and you also get, um, you know, your charging cables and stuff like that. Right off the bat, I'd have to say that the Rode is definitely heavier. It does have a more solid, well-made feel to it as opposed to the seven rhymes, but this unit, um, I can't fault it so far. It's actually probably a little bit of a benefit to be lighter, to be honest. Basically what you would want to do with the Rode, you could do with the seven rhymes, no dramas. Now right off the bat, there is a big price difference between these two units. On Amazon, you can get the Rode Wireless Go 2 for $347 US, and that includes the two transmitters and the one receiver. You can get the seven rhymes on Amazon for $179 US and you also get two transmitters and one receiver as well as the microphones and all that jazz. So I'll run through a few specs. This is the iRay DW20. It's a 2.4 gig dual channel wireless microphone. And like I said before, in the kit, you get two transmitters and one receiver as well as two lapel microphones. What I really like about this unit is you do have a few more options than the Rode. You have a few more functional buttons on the actual unit itself where you can adjust the volume, you can also mute it, and you have a few different options including recording in mono or stereo mode and also a safety mode which will record a backup audio track with a reduced minus six decibel recording. It comes with an LCD screen and a built-in microphone just like the Rode Wireless Go 2. They're also claiming that you can get 100 meters away from the receiver with direct line of sight. Now that's something that I have not tested, um, but from the small tests that I have done, this is a great little unit if you are looking to save some dollars. It also has 48 kilohertz and 24 bit audio recording. Like the Rode, it does have a preamp built into it with 12 levels of adjustable gain. So what you're hearing now is directly off the seven rhymes transmitter. Um, I think it sounds really good and straight out of the bat it did sound very clear and very crisp. Now that might have something to do with the uh, denoiser that's automatically built into these things. Um, now I will have to check to see if you can actually turn that function off if it is a negative but um, I think it's just part of their technology and um, hey I'm all for denoising. Noise is terrible when you're recording audio. Now it does come in this cool little case. Everything is very well presented, very well made. What I do love is, which is different to the road actually, is this cool little cable. Now it might not seem like much, but with the road, you do have all these USB-C charging USB cables. So you have your USB-A that goes to a USB-C and you have three of them. So you have three separate cables that you need three separate USB-A inputs for, which is really quite bloody annoying. Um, so this, I love it. This is one cable, one USB type A to three USB Cs. Get out of town. Something so small can be so bloody cool and handy, especially when you just want to chuck them on charge, you don't have to worry about turning them over. You know, I've only got one cable, so you know, whatever. It just, it's a small thing, but they've obviously thought about it and I love it. You also get these cool little things, which you also do get with Rode. Um, now these clip onto this microphone here. Um, so if there is a lot of a wind around and you are using just the transmitter to record audio, then you can get away with that. That's a huge fluffy. Originally I thought, this was for that, and I thought, holy cow, but my mistake. <laughs> I guess the biggest deciding factor for people out there, whether they will choose something like this, is A, the price, 
and B, the quality. Now, um, the price is a no-brainer for me. If you are looking to save some dollars, this is a great little unit. Um, it's light, it's portable, it does exactly what the road would do. Um, it just doesn't have that name behind it yet. And that's just a personal choice. If you're someone who goes with tried and true, then maybe you should stick with the road. But if you're trying to save some dollars, um, you know, why not give these guys a go? They're a small company um, having a crack. They're doing some really cool things. Um, and I love the product, to be honest. Um, you know, if you're saving some bucks and it's good quality audio, why not? Now, also, I just want to mention that we are filming this whole video using the Seven Rhymes system. So we have the receiver plugged into the A7S 3 and I'm using a transmitter here with the lapel on my neck. I'm not usually a fan of showing the lapel. Um, I normally use a boom mic for these studio videos, but the last couple of videos, I have actually been using this to test it out. And I have to say, it's so much easier than setting up a bloody boom, converting the XLR down to the 3.5 jack into this, this bloody thing for the Sony. Um, this is great and it's fantastic, but for easy use, for being quick, something like this is just so easy to use. Now, would I suggest you guys go out and buy the seven rhymes over the road? Uh, if it comes down to price, absolutely, because this is a great little unit. It'll save you some cash um, and it has fantastic audio. If you want to have the latest and the greatest and the best and the tried and true, you stick with the road. But really when it comes down to it these things do exactly the same thing and the name on it is just a little bit different also guys let me know if you do happen to pick up one of these suckers um, and test it out for yourself let me know in the comments below what you thought about it and that's it for this video guys if you did like this video please like subscribe comment down below and i'll see you in the next one